I'm going to move on to one more final topic here, guys. Okay. And this might be an unexpected thing. We got an update, boys and girls, on Final Destination 6. I believe it's the sixth one. It's the new Final Destination movie that's set to come out next year. Ooh. So apparently there has been a test screening of this movie that just happened. And uh, this is all thanks in part two. And I'm not going to like do any major spoilers. The things I'm going to talk about here is most likely going to be revealed in the trailer, like all the, the Final Destination movies. So I'll tell you the thing uh, in a second. But we had um, Critical Overlord who said Final Destination had a test screening last night. It seems to have gone well, and all five films remain canon in a big way. This is a sequel and not a prequel like like no, like number five was. Okay, so you can go to his YouTube channel, and he did a more in-depth video. Not spoilerish either, just like some more details. I watched this video, and it looks like he we get the reveal of what the big accident is this time, which I think is the thing a lot of Final Destination fans are wondering about, right? The first film, it was the plane. Second movie, it was a car crash. Third movie, my favorite, was the roller coaster ride. Very good. Fourth film, I'm not a big fan of the fourth film, but it was that race car, I believe, race car sequences, and I was like, okay, whatever. And the fifth movie, the bridge collapse. I was like, okay. People are now have been wondering, all right, what is going to be the big accident of Final Destination? People are like, I want it to be on a boat. Or I, I don't know, I want it to be, I don't even know what other people were saying. <laughs> I, I think the boat was like the main thing people wanted. They wanted an accident on a boat. Although if it happens on a boat, I don't know how you get off of the boat in time to not die. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so in the, in the video from the information he got on the test screening, so take it with a grain of salt, it's going to happen, you ready? At a restaurant. Okay. And and that when I first heard that too, I was like, ah, what a waste. A restaurant? What the heck, man? They they couldn't have done something more interesting. You know, why why is it gotta be at an olive garden? I'm gonna be eating breadsticks and trying to avoid death. Come on now, buddy. But there's a little bit of a twist to this restaurant. Apparently, it's one of those restaurants that's in a high-rise build. So it's like, okay, like in Dallas, we have one of these. I don't know if in your city they do, but um, let's see dallas ball uh and and dallas we have this thing which i don't even know what it's called the ball or something but it's it's a restaurant in the in the sky so it's something like this you could take it up and there's like a fine dining restaurant and it spins and whatnot this is essentially what it's going to be so it's going to be one of these restaurants that's like all the way up in the air and i guess the building will maybe collapse and you're on top of the restaurant about to fall to the ground or something like that i'm like Okay, that's a, that's enough of a twist where it doesn't disappoint me. If it was just like a regular restaurant and where the kitchen's blowing up and you're avoiding forks and knives and the Caesar salad attacks you and burns your face off, I'm like, that's going to be kind of lame. But you add this like high-rise element to it and you're up in the sky and it's kind of unavoidable. All right, I, I, I'm down with that. I think that'll be pretty cool. Now, the other detail that he let loose that... It's more speculation because he was per it seemed like he was purposely holding back information because he doesn't want to spoil stuff, which I'm very happy with. I don't want everything of this movie spoiled yet. And um, is he saying for the first time in the series, the person who has the premonition is going to do something very different that all the other people have not done in the past. And that got me thinking, what does he mean by that? Like, OK, so what has every person done in the past? Once they have the vision, what do they do? They immediately are like, we got to get out of here. This place is going to blow up. Something's going to happen. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That's what every single person does, right? They try to get out of the situation so they could live. So what would then be like the opposite or the thing none of them do is just let the accident happen. But then it's like that wouldn't leave us with many survivors, right? That would like leave us with nobody to like follow the rest of the movie. The whole point is to have like a group of people that survive and then throughout the course of the movie, you slowly see them die one by one. But they're saying that this Final Destination movie is supposed to subvert expectations, that it's gonna like change the formula so things don't get stale. It's not just gonna be, oh, this person has a vision, they avoid death, rest of the movie is them just trying to avoid death in creative manners. That's basically been the formula. So it looks like they wanna change it. And it's like, okay, why is that? Like, yeah, try to stop it maybe? like. How would that work? Like, like so if it was the plane, how would you try and stop the plane? You just would tell the plane not to go off at all? Or what do you get, call Superman and he saves the building from falling or something? Like, what does that mean? Leave it. Like, that's what I'm thinking. I'm like, okay, let's say I'm at this restaurant and I'm at a group with big people, right? Let's say it's a, my friend's birthday party. And, you know, I only like my friend, my girlfriend, and that guy over there. 
Everybody else, I hate. I don't like hanging out with them. I think they're miserable, dumb people. So I have this vision they're going to die. I'm just going to save the people I like. Y'all have a good day. And we go. Something like that where he intentionally or she intentionally lets people die thinking, well, that's a good way to get rid of them. But I'm like, would you be that quick on your feet when that happens? You know, that's what I'm wondering. I'm, I'm, let me see what you guys are so thinking. Will the building collapse? Uh, that's what it sounds like. It, I mean, that's what I assume will happen. If it's up in the air, of course that building has got to collapse, right? I think it's got to collapse. Zip lining? That would be <laughs> just zip like I think you're only here for the zip line. <laughs> uh yep just quiet and out that's what i was thinking too right it's just like you you know this is happening you're like uh, i'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick run to my car <laughs> and then that but it's like what happens the rest of the movie because i remember the early rumors for final destination was that it was going to be like a t and the reason it's called final destination bloodlines because remember that's the full title of this movie is because it's going to be death going after your your bloodline your lineage that a long time ago, your grandma avoided death, gave birth to your mom or whatever. And that, remember, birth in the Final Destination universe stops death. New life prevents death. That's like the rule they established in the second movie. So all these years, you've had a family be born that wasn't supposed to be alive, which is your grandma, your uncles, your cousins, your tío, your tía, right? And then when you get to this person who avoids death, it's a domino effect. And everybody who wasn't supposed to be alive death is now coming for your whole family but i'm like okay but then how does that play into the thing i guess it would make sense then if then they kill everybody or like he just lets or he or she lets everybody die in that building we're left with one survivor you're thinking oh this is going to be an easy final destination movie but that one survivor then has a whole group of family and that's how it follows them i don't know i'm just thinking on my feet i'm just <laughs> maybe it's just one dude yeah and that whole dude's family that's what i'm thinking either way uh, I'm excited for this. I cannot wait. John Watts is a producer on this, Spider-Man movies. You know, horror is kind of where he started, so I'm excited for this. Uh, Bloodlines kind of sounds like the Titanic Supernatural episode. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know. Oh, there was a Titanic? I forgot what that is, though. Um, uh, let me see. Maybe it's a family reunion at a restaurant. Ooh. That's a that's a good... That, that could be it. Family reunion at the restaurant. All right. Some people don't like their family. Just fine with that, them letting it die. When does it come out? Good question. I know they already have a release date. Let me see. Final uh, Destination Bloodlines uh, release date. It just says 2025 right now. It doesn't look like they have an exact date, but 2025. And Tony Todd is going to be an important character in it again. Remember, Tony Todd is like the guy who cameos in all the Final Destination movies, and people say he's the embodiment of death or something apparently we're going to see a bigger connection to him in this universe and and i mean that also intrigues me with them saying that every movie is canon that they're somehow going to connect all the movies together in one that's going to make some final destination fans happy and that's also going to be a great reason to review the movies when that film comes out so yeah there you go some final destination updates man we'll see what it goes i'd like to hear your guys' theories down below and stuff like that I'm going to make a clip, so that's why I said that. All right. Uh, aside from that, my movie peeps, it's time to answer your viewer-submitted questions, okay? Let's see here.